Have you ever heard stories about creepy libraries, haunted universities, and even dungeons beneath? Do you believe in the myth of Bloody Mary or the Halloween massacre? What about the statues coming to life? All of the above are simply university urban tales. Some are weird, some are spooky, and most of them are almost entirely made up. Here we present to you the three most terrific myths and examine their roots and influence. Get yourself in the mood with some of the most widespread university urban myths. Ghost less ghost stories and urban legends are modern day fairy tales just as Little Red Riding Hood and Goldilocks were spread by oral tradition, urban myths are spread by word of mouth, creating contemporary folklore, often with a moral sighting in the tale. Let's face it, a sleepover isn't complete without at least one candlelit tale of terror. While chanting Bloody Mary 13 times in front of a dark end, mirror hail a wengeful spirit. Watch till the end to find out. Haunted Universities Arguably the most widespread university urban myths are about haunted colleges. Almost every college in the world which is more than 100 year olds has its own ghost. While some students proudly boast about that and make up all kinds of terrifying stories of ghostly encounters, there are some who are genuinely scared. Even though different colleges have different myths concerning ghosts, the main patterns are very alike. They can only be so many types of spirits, right? Ones to watch out for include headless goats. Assumably initially roused by Washington Irving's Sleepy Hollow, legends about bodiless or headless ghosts are some of the most popular ones in tales of haunted universities. The most reputable universities in the UK, Oxford and Cambridge, both have similar hauntings, which include widely known threats. Students in Cambridge suppose they have seen the floating head of none other than Oliver Cromwell himself. He was beheaded, and while his body was buried, his head rests at Cambridge's Sydney Sussex College. It is told that Cromwell haunts the campus grounds, seemingly searching for the rest of his body. On the other hand, Oxford is said to be haunted by the headless ghost of King Charles. Students informed seeing him around the grounds of Christchurch College. Ghosts of former professors and other widely known urban tales spread around many universities from around the world. It's about ghosts of former university professors. Such a myth exists at Heidelberg University in Germany. For instance, during the Nazi era, many Jewish or communist professors at the university were sent to concentration camps. Lots of them have seemingly returned to their old workplace to torment its grounds for eternity. While students have actually seen them, they have braved that the chocolates in these professors' old lecture halls have mysterious words written on them or self erased A similar urban legend exists at the American University of Cincinnati. According to students and staff, the ghost of a former classics professor who died in the 1960s haunts the Blagan Rare Book Room. Students contend that they keep hearing strange noises at night and constantly feel like somebody's watching them. Ghosts of Students Who Committed Suicide Perhaps the most widespread versions of the ghost legends are those concerning students who committed suicide on campus grounds. There is something mysterious about suicidal students indeed, but most stories aren't based on genuine evidence. Apparently, at the beginning of the 20th century, a young girl took her own life by drowning in a swimming pool at the University of Illinois at Urbana, Champaign, apparently. The girl had just found out she was pregnant and, in her panic, committed suicide. Students think that her spinner still wanders the English building of the university, and the similar legend exists at the Emmanuel College in Cambridge. A student who hanged himself many years ago seemingly walks the corridors of the building. Ghosts of Builders The latest popular pattern among the stories about haunted universities is the one about builders who died during the construction of the college in question. Since they gave their lives to the university, they are set to never leave it. Students at the Lomonosov Moscow State University in Russia have claimed to hear sounds of construction and blood curling cries on the top floors of the university. Another myth of a ghost of a former builder is extremely widespread at the University of Toronto, Canada. Word has it that in 1889, a scholar actually saw the spirit of a stonemason who told him that he was killed in a fight inside the campus. In an attempt to protect himself, the stonemason smashed a wooden door which still exists in the college today. True or not, urban myths have and will always be part of college life and experience. Students all over the world pass it on with the new generation of freshers and hence they live on. Tales of haunted universities and horrific events have survived the test of time and continue to make our skin tingle and blood freeze. So why not do a bit of research into your own universities, urban tales and scare your postmates this Halloween? Before we move on, do subscribe to our channel for more content and turn on post notifications to never miss out on any future uploads. Statues come to life. Many colleges around the world have some sort of monument or statues in front of their main building. It might be a statue of the Illuminus, creator, benefactor or an abstract symbol. A popular myth is that those statues come to life at night and move around the campus. The tale varies from institution to institution, but the pattern is the same. Some universities might even have monuments of animals or different types of fantastic creatures. The University of Cincinnati, for instance, has stone lines in front of its Mac Micken Hall, which some students think they have heard growl at night. 
Some variations of the tale say that these statues only move when a cheater or a virgin walks past them. Others go even further and describe other objects or paintings coming to life as well. Students from Michigan State University, for example, claim that the portrait of Mary Maya moves its eyes and follows you through the room. Bloody Mary, possibly the most famous modern myth, the title shows that if you are to look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary a selected number of times, something will happen. It's what the legendist agrees on. In the most earlier versions, an unmarried woman would see the face of her future husband in the glass or his skull if she were fated to die before being married. Mary is said to be a witch who was executed a hundred years ago for applying the black arts or a woman of more modern times who died in a local car accident in which her face was hideously injured. This evolved into something gorier. Groups invoking a bleeding spirit or witch called Mary, Queen Mary. I have also made some links, as she suffered multiple miscarriages during her reign. The story has been usually influential mirrors and reflections a regular fixture in uncanny literature, plays part in Cleve Barker's The Forbidden, which went on to be the film Candyman. The x files and Supernatural directed tackled the Mary myth on screen. These mirror witch games may have the roots in old-time divining rituals involving unmarried girls and future husbands. There are several variations of these divinations, some involving chanting a rhyme in a darkened room on a special night and then quickly looking into the mirror to catch a glimpse of the bridegroom-to-be. The idea of mirrors as portals between this world and the realm of spirits shows up in other beliefs, namely those surrounding funerals. It was an ordinary practice to cover mirrors in a house where a death took place until the body was taken for burial. Back in the days before funeral homes, corpses were cleansed by the deceased's relatives, dressed in their funeral finery, and laid out in coffins in the front parlor. Hence, the dead would be in the houses for days. It was believed that if the dear departed caught a glimpse of himself in a mirror, his ghost would remain in the house because the mirror would trap his spirit. Although there are accounts from young girls who have supposedly had some terrifying experience with Mary, it is generally regarded to have developed as an adolescent party game in the 1960s and has little basis in reality. So why do we believe these word-of-mouth myths? One explanation is that storytelling gave humans an evolutionary benefit. It is programmed in us to warn each other of possible dangers no matter how ordinary they may be. Urban tales are also a version of modern mythology, a whistle for the unproven and inexplicable. Their place in society marks by a fundamental judicial principle. Innocent until proven guilty, if it is possible to prove past suspicion that a story has no ground in reality, the chances remain that it is somehow true, and so the tales spread. Alright everyone, that is about for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button, and also do subscribe to our channel for more content. And make sure you tap on post notifications, so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Until then, stay tuned.